load your motorcycle, go to the rear of the transport unit and remove the transport safety pin. Insert the remote control plug into the remote control socket located on the solenoid at the front of the unit. Check operation of the transport unit by turning the winch power switch to the out position and then to the in position momentarily. Push and hold the remote control switch to the out position. At the same time, pull back on the upper frame. Now you must pull the safety pin that locks the cradle trolley. This will allow the cradle to then slide down the track and rest on the ground. The slot rail and trolley, when fully extended and on the ground, need to just barely touch and rest off the ground about a half inch. Pull back on the trolley lever and tilt cradle back, ready to pull your tire into it. This operation will require you to place two pins in the rails to hold the trolley until it cams and locks. Pull motorcycle into cradle and tie it down to the rings on the crossbar. Do not tighten forks too tight. This may hinder the cradle from camming over. Once locked, both pins must be removed. Push the remote control switch to the end position. This will start the transport unit pulling the motorcycle up the ramp. Insert the safety pin that locks the cradle trolley. Hold remote control switch in the end position until your motorcycle and the ramp is pulled completely into the vehicle. Insert the transport safety pin after the unit is pulled fully into the vehicle and stop moving. Attach the two rear tie-down straps from the motorcycle frame to the toy track's rear tie-down rings. To unload your motorcycle, go to the rear of the transport unit and remove rear tie-down straps. Remove the transport safety pin. Make sure front tie-downs to handlebars are tight. Insert the remote control plug into the remote control socket. Push the remote control to out position while giving a pull on your motorcycle to start the outward motion. Now you must pull the safety pin that locks the cradle trolley. Hold the remote control switch in the out position until the unit is fully extended and the front wheel is on the ground. Unhook the motorcycle from the tie-down straps. Push the remote control switch to the end position. Now you must insert the safety pin that locks the cradle trolley. Pull the transport bunk back into the vehicle. Insert the transport safety pin after the transport bunk has been pulled completely into the transport position. After watching this video, I'm sure you can see how safe this Toy Tracks product is, both to load and transport your motorcycle. It certainly protects your investment. It is very easy. It is very convenient. It gives you another vehicle to use in inclement weather. You need no trailer, no tag, no insurance. You have no flat tires. You need no lumber and no place to store a trailer. This enables you to park in a regular parking area. We want to thank you for taking the past few minutes to watch this video on the Toy Tracks motorcycle loading system.